right side forward. Still there. Yeah, that was Still fun. there. <laughs> Still that there. Was the Still there. Still there. Clear. All right, it is qualifying time. We are here in uh, LOL iRacing League. Uh, we're about to go out for qualifying. Uh, we had a short, like, I think 20 minute practice. Um, we're going to uh, try to do the best that we can here. We are running the 1987 uh, Cup Series cars. I am in a uh, 87 uh, Chevy Monte Carlo SS. Not good missing a shift already. Getting the green flag. flag. Sid is now at the front. Man, I love this track, but I think I'm slow right now. I'm in P10 right now. We don't really have a lot of people here tonight. I think that might be pretty much last. I got on the throttle too hard there. I was trying to trying to get more out of it. Car got loose. Nice All right. The wall is over. Thank you. I have no clue how that was a pole lap, but I'll take it. I forgot that there's no second lap here. So meaning like the second lap is a throwaway lap. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Out of all the tracks that they had to destroy, how did it, why did it have to be the one with the most grooves of racing? All right, we're going to hop out of the because car and I'll see you guys when we get on the grid. This should be a one stopper with the earliest pit on lap 13. Okay. Can you hear me There he is. Sweet. What's up, guys? Here we go. All right. Yes. Here we go, indeed. Welcome in and welcome everyone. Is there a uh, lot of people so driving Monte Carlos? For uh, California. Hmm. All right, then. Once the crew chief shuts up, I'll uh, continue the spiel. 60 seconds left. Uh, I've got a uh, Moza R9.
30 seconds left now. Pace car about to move. All right, good evening, everyone. We've got 65 laps tonight, uh, two we're six tires in pits, one faster pit. Um, reminder, we're uh, going starting yeah, the race I keep on green. The, uh, uh, restarts will be on leader and I keep the um, rules. So, um, single file restarts. I keep the uh, but lucky dogs in the in the in the, in the, uh, in the pit house app. I keep the uh, force feedback intensity like I, I keep it set to 100 percent. And then um, in the sim, I just click the auto button for it to auto calibrate the uh, the force feedback strength. Because um, I, I figure I figure the most real like the most realistic experience that I want to get uh, the sim is gonna like if I just let the sim automatically calculate it, the sim should. I would I would think in theory if I have the wheel at a hundred if I have the wheel if I have the wheelbase at a hundred percent and then I just. Click so auto in the, the sim. It, it should percent. auto calibrate it to, you know, as <laughs> to, as close to what it should be as possible. You know, I was going to say something without nice without the, the wheel clipping. Um, so I do the that, but like, dude, there's sometimes that sure. man. It, it's so like with these cars everywhere. It's so That's heavy. Every bump feels like it's trying to rip the wheel out of your hands. Alright, reminder to uh, put it in second gear or some gear that's not for. Uh, does your rig have uh, have like a, a harness? Because honestly, that's what helped me a lot. I was I was having a lot of back pain, and then when I got this harness and strapped myself into the seat, so I can't move and I can't twist and turn and shit. I missed the shift. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I understand that. I should have lifted way earlier than that. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Improving. Fastest lap. 45.9. We're trying something here, y'all. We're gonna see what we can do here.
great. Up to P11 currently. Oh, uh, that's not gonna help the tires. I went in too hard, slid up the track. I could hear the tires squealing or scraping a little bit. Okay. Try. I saw smoke down there going on the pit road. I think somebody might have spun down on the pit road or something. Swiss Helm 3.4 behind. Super, we're P10 currently. Gap in front, six seconds. I think I, uh, I think I left it way too early there. I lost a lot of ground that time. That one was bad. Okay, don't do that. Pushing a little too hard there. Yep, she stopped the road tight, didn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. I'm sure I can make it do it a lot better. Yeah, it's probably safe for you to get in front of me. Saving fuel and saving tires. Really hoping that I know what I'm doing here. Delta ahead open by zero point five. I'm trying to be so smooth and so easy right now on this car.
I hate the fact that I'm losing ground right now, but I'm losing ground right now so I can gain ground later. All I can think of right now is like, God damn, I'm fucking losing though. Like, go faster! But no, like, you, dude, you need to save these cars. Save the tires, save the fuel. Especially if the race goes long, like green flag runs. I just don't want to go a lap down. Okay, we're 12 laps in. How much fuel do we have? Shit, I didn't clutch that time. I left it way too late to just get on the clutch. Okay, 49 laps of fuel. Okay. Let's see where I'm at on lap 20. 4.5 behind. Well, lap 15 would be 50 laps to go, but we already have less than 50 laps of fuel left, so I kind of want to see where it'd be on lap 20. What was it when Tony Stewart said he was gonna bust Joey Logano's ass? Or was it when uh or was it when Ryan Newman confronted Joey Logano? I mean like which which one was it where which person confronted Joey Logano? I I I <laughs> I figured here is Mark. As soon as you said that, I figured it was it was one of the people that had an issue with with Joey Logano. Like one of the drivers involved was Joey Logano, but it wasn't his it wasn't his interaction with uh, the the announcer. It was um yeah. I understand what you mean. Yeah, yeah. This this track was home to like, dude. That was a hilarious interaction between just everybody involved there. Wasn't it, uh, wasn't it Stuart that Joey Logano, uh, threw his water bottle at during that incident? Like, if I remember correctly, I think it was, I think it was Stuart. Like, Joey Logano, like, there was a fight on pit road, and then Joey, um... Yeah. Yeah, it was like during the fight on pit road, like Joey Logano, Joey Logano didn't want anything to do with fighting until his crew got in front of him. Then when his crew got in between him and Tony Stewart, that's when he decided to chirp and start talking, whole, just, just start chirping, just start talking about shit. And then when, and then I think like, I think at first when Tony Stewart went to turn, turn away, Joey Logano threw his water bottle at the back of Stewart's head and Stewart turned right the fuck back around. I'm pretty sure that's when all hell broke loose. I remember Joey Logano throwing his water bottle at somebody. I don't I don't remember. I think it might have been Stewart. Or Nguyen. But uh, yeah, I think it was Stewart. Okay. Ahead 14 seconds.
the major thing I don't the major thing I don't like about that whole situation was Joey Logano had the balls to throw something at Stewart, but Joey Logano Joey Logano didn't have the balls to actually fight him. Fourteen seconds ahead. Like I mean, if I, I, granted, yeah, yes, it technically is assault, but at the same time, I mean, it's a fucking water bottle. But like, when throwing a water bottle at somebody, I mean, you're you're technically you're still throwing something at somebody. That's still technically assault. Because I mean, the the fucking water bottle is not going to hurt, so it's not a deadly weapon. But it's still it's still using the water bottle as a weapon and trying to assault somebody with a water bottle, um, especially intentionally throwing it at the back of somebody's head. But um. Granted, it's it's not gonna hurt, but still the 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 thing is there that uh that like that's still that's still some level of assault, and that's still Joey Logano, you know, making some kind of you know confrontational like physical you know assault. So how the new vibration now? At that point, if you're dude. If somebody has the balls to assault somebody, that person better have the balls to stand up and fucking get their ass beat. Probably. One heading out. It's real hard to pass on full tires. Because I know I know Dale's knocked some people out. But I mean, yeah. Dale also, you know, Dale was never out there looking for a fight. That's how I, that's how I feel like Ryan Newman is. Ryan Newman is one of those guys that, like, dude, he he might be a little on the shorter side, but man, dude, that 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 dude is built like a fucking brick shit house. I wouldn't want to get on Ryan Newman's bad side. Dude looks like he could box a fucking grizzly bear. I left it way too late to be clutching it like that. I had to feather the brake, which defeated the purpose of clutching. Oh, dude, totally. But Ryan Newman also... Yeah, I feel I'm slowing down. Ryan Newman also never, like, went looking for the fight either. Dude, I remember, I remember, I remember that video so much from the garage area with Joey Logano and Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman's just like, don't touch me. <laughs> don't fucking touch me. But then Joey kept on poking the bear. It's like, dude, when you're when when you're up against somebody that looks like they could eat you for breakfast, don't don't fucking touch them, especially if they say don't. You could tell Newman was just getting more and more pissed off the whole time, and as Joey Logano was making excuses too. Yeah, keep her in your line, John. It's keeping me at bay, so. And I know I, was, I know I spoke about it before, but like, like that whole situation yeah, between um, the whole situation between uh, Kyle Bush and um, and Ricky Stenhouse. To a certain well, extent, that's now, good maybe. for the. To a certain extent, that's good for the sport. Uh, I don't remember. There might have been pushing and shoving. I don't think Ryan punched him. I think he got broken up before punches were thrown. I think there was pushing and shoving, though. But, like, that whole situation with Ricky Stenhouse and Kyle Busch, I feel like the sport actually needs shit like that. Because um, here's the thing. If you... One, it's drama. And to a certain extent, drama brings attention. Um, it's... In today's day and age, with everything being about social media and everything being about metrics and and 
and views and clicks and, and all that other crap. Um, anything that they can do to get, like, clicks and views. Like, that is probably, like, one of the most viewed and most clipped, like, and, and just most watched, you know, things from this season. And the things like, the things like that that are going to get clicks and stuff like that, those are the things that are going to get, you know, that's, that's NASCAR beefing up their metrics. Still 40 laps to go. 40 laps to go, and we have how we many have laps of fuel? Minutes left in this oh session. shit, we might not be able to save enough. Man, I've been fucking trying, but I might not be able to save enough. We got 40 laps to go, and we got 33 Still laps of fuel. Early pit stop seat taken to only strategy. Now you take too late in the rut, so you know you have enough left side tires. I don't know about this. Yeah, no. Approximately 39 laps left. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I agree with that entirely. But also, like, here's the thing, and I, I feel like NASCAR, if they're going to use it to promote the sport, no, they shouldn't have fined him. But also, at the same time, um, like, on one hand, I kind of understand. Because Ricky, Ricky Stenhouse was clearly going over there to start a fight. You can even see from the video, his crew is, like, ready for the fight before it even happens. And you could see Ricky Stenhouse, like, clenching his fist and shit like that, and somebody else brought it up that, like, you could see that, uh, you could see that Kyle Busch was basically reasoning with him, and that the, the, the opportunity There's to throw that punch was going away fast because the situation was, re was resolving. Because Kyle Busch was you know, actually just trying to talk about what happened okay. and, you know, settle it in a reasonable manner. And all Ricky wanted to do right from the beginning was punch him in the face. And Rick, Ricky, Ricky saw the moment going away, so he did it. So he threw the punch. Which, I mean... On one hand, the aggressor that started it was the one that got punished. So it's kind of like that whole, you know, thing your parents tell you. Hey, if you get caught fighting in school, you're only going to be in trouble if you threw the first punch. But if you weren't the one that started it and you were just defending yourself, well, I mean, you know, fuck it, whatever. That was wild. I don't know how that didn't cause a caution. Last was 46.7 tenths. Yeah. But, like, the other part of it that, like, where that team, you know, deserves some penalization is that, like, his team was... His team was so ready for it to a point where they jumped in. And, like, they were jumping in on Kyle Busch before... Like, and not even giving Kyle Busch the ability to defend himself. It's like, if you're going to do that shit, let it be one-on-one. -on -one. Because the second Ricky Stenhouse's team got involved, that's when Kyle Busch's team came came in. And by the way, the badass dude on the hauler that like gets up on that ramp and starts fucking basically damn near almost chucking people off the ramp. It's, it's like he, dude, he was yelling. He was like, he was like, you know, get off, get off our hauler, like, you don't, don't be climbing on our shit. Um, I've seen that plenty of times, though, at short tracks as well. You know, if somebody, if somebody comes over to your pit stall, normally it's bad, anyways. But then, like, if if they're there uninvited and they're trying to start shit and they're trying to start a fight and then they're climbing on your fucking hauler, um, 
that's usually grounds for an ass whooping. Any short track I've ever been to is how that usually works. 0 0.4 gallons used on last lap. You don't go climbing around on somebody else's hauler uh, without their permission. But you sure as fuck don't go over to their pistol trying to start problems and then get and get on their hauler. Yo, hey, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so basically when you when you when you go trying to when you go like trying to get on somebody else's hauler or whatever like that and messing with their shit, um even if you're not messing with their shit, if you're you messing with them. I notice about pitting. No, I did not. Safety car. Pits closed. Well then pace car rolling out. We are, uh, we're going to make it on fuel now. Oh, that sucks. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you again for that follow. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just... Your rear tires are coming. Yeah, since those since since those haulers for some of those guys like uh, since that's since that's their home away from home, especially when they're on a long road trip, it's it's like you know you don't go around like especially you don't go climbing on somebody's hauler, um, especially when you're starting a fight with them. But like at the same time, the whole another reason why I think it's good for the sport in a way is because. Um, Do I have time to pit? Ten seconds till pace car. I don't want to start behind lap down cars. Pitting for juice. Clean rubber. Also polishing window. Okay, I don't want to speed. Ten. Nine. Pits closed. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Black flag for excessive, excessive speed. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, the other reason is um, I would much rather uh, see two drivers like have whatever they, whatever they, however they need to settle it. Like if they're going to fight or whatever, I would, one, it attracts fans that it, it, it's it's drama it's stuff that you know it, it gets more views it gets more clicks that kind of thing but like the other part of it is not only does that bring more attention to the sport and get more people watching even if it it's for open. a fight but also if you let the drivers uh, sorry, yeah, settle it however they want to settle it out of the car out of my line of then that means that it is settled yeah, I, out of the I car um so zoned in on pitting that I just press my button and then I just focus like much my fault. I would I would I would much I would much rather see it settled off track than on track. Seventy five seventy. Because on track is where you're gonna see the things like um Oh man, I don't I don't know how many years ago it was, but it was like a, I think it was like a year or two ago. Or maybe it was more than that, but um, there was one instance where, uh, actually, I think it might have been a while back, a long while back. But, um, because I, I think Tony Stewart was involved, but it was like at Richmond, it was years and years. Uh, no, it was a while back, because Tony Stewart hasn't raced in years. Dude, I don't know, I, I barely watched NASCAR races, um, but I remember seeing that, because I watched that race. I believe it was a race at Richmond. And they were entering pit road after the race was over. Well, look at that. And there was like one driver that hit it's another driver. I think show. Brad Kozowski was involved too. Um, I think he was an innocent bystander. I think somebody backed up into him. But like there was an is, there was an instance where they were on pit road, and I think somebody somebody had already taken somebody had already taken their 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 harness off, like they had already done done undone their belts, and somebody retaliated against them and hit them on purpose 
on pit road. Negative, I drove negative, up to them and off, went to hit them. Off. And then, um, and what, then like, I think that person threw their car in reverse and Honk backed right up onto the, their fucking uh, hood and pushed them back into Brad Kozlowski, I think. Right I don't remember the of exact specifics of it, but it was it was like an instance where oh, yes, yes, where there were drivers that were starting shit yeah. with each other and no, trying not. to trying to use their race cars it's as part weapons. Of the if you like um, to be part of this, uh, while drivers thing, already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, Harvick was involved. I, I I thought Tony Stewart might have been involved too. I don't remember. Yeah. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just thinking of like the fucking complete different things. But you know what I mean. It was an instance where there was somebody that was like taking had had taken their belts off already, and somebody fucking retaliates against them. And it's like, dude. Well done. We're in P8 currently. Delta closed by point eight. That's that's not okay. That's what it was. That's what it was. It was one of the store. It was one of the store Haas cars, but it was Harvick no, that was no, driving no, no. for him. Outside, behind, still there, still there, still there, still there. Oh, we got still plenty there. of fuel to make it to the end. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. So we don't have to save fuel at all. We do still have to save tires. Moving down to P9 currently. 46.8 tenths that lap. Trying not to scrub my tires too much. Last sector was fastest. Okay, yeah. Um, so, like, that, that particular incident, though, hands down, no matter what, far and above any other situation, I would rather see those two drivers get out of their car and throw punches if they need to, to fix that shit, than do that. I don't ever want to see two cars, like, retaliating against each other when somebody has their fucking belts off. Like, that shit is extremely dangerous. You do not fucking do that shit. Like, pit road hitting somebody else's car while, while dude, the person has their belts undone? Like, that's just, it's Did not cool. There, um... Oh, yeah. I, I would have much, much rather in, like... Hands down if they, if they would have, like, gotten out of the cars instead and fucking thrown punches. Plus, if you do it right there on the front stretch, right on pit road, then uh, the fans are right there. So then you then you get then you get people all fucking excited and hooting, and hollering, and everything else. And then, you know, you have you have some kid or some teenager or some young adult that might be at their first ever NASCAR race, and they see that, and they see the people fucking screaming and hooting, and hollering, and everything else. And then they they look around and they're they're like they're like holy shit, this is crazy, like. And then you might have just made a NASCAR fan for life, or you might have just turned somebody off entirely to it, but, you know. Chances are when there's, when there's drama and excitement and, and that kind of shit, like, at the time when NASCAR was at its most popular point ever, like, they still had drama, they still had excitement. There was times when people got out and threw hands. I remember when, uh, oh man, was it Gordon and Burton that had their little slap fest on the uh, on the back stretch of Texas? I seriously thought that was going to be a good fight, and then all of a sudden, like, or maybe it was a different one, but I remember there was one with Gordon where. Where I saw him walking up to somebody, and I seriously thought, "Oh shit, this is gonna be good." And then I just saw them fucking like open hand slapping each other. And I was like, "Oh man, like that that fucking ruined it." Keep your nose out, 
you've got a terrific run coming from there you go so what you're telling me to do is turn the 19 no car 19 and takes p1 don't worry i won't <laughs> Man, I am slow here. I, I, I've got to hope that these guys burn up their tires driving that fast. There's someone who could really use the caution. One point uh, yeah, front. they go for it. I mean, my Clint Boyer services can be hired, but, you know, it's quite pricey. Dude, this car feels crazy if I push. It's so slidey, like it feels like I can't get the power completely down under me, so I gotta be careful on the throttle. Which is just these cars. Gap in front, two point one. I have no idea how those guys are driving so hard up there. Ellis heads the field. Although that might have been why I was catching them so fast at, at Kern County on the long run. I pretty much have to rely on this going uh, green to the end and hoping that they start ducking off to go do pit stops. Catch them going in to use that last set of tires. We still have time for this to be about strategy. It's just going to be about tire strategy, you not fuel strategy. Darn it, Mark, you were my buffer between me and Corey. Car 19 head has taken the lead. Twenty further laps to go. Nineteen point eight laps left. Car feels good though. It just feels really slidey. For those of you guys that are watching this VOD later on, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for everybody that's watching it live as well. Um, we are 46 laps into a 65 lap race here at, at, uh, at Auto Club, California. I love this track. I was really hoping for it to be a few miles race, but uh, hey, it might be a tire race. And um, it's okay though. I just I just love racing. I just love being here and 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 doing this. I'm I'm having a blast. I love driving this car. Number nineteen head is now at the front. Woo! Damn. No caution. No, when you have a precision wreck like that, there's no caution. Precision wreck, that's great. That was a synchronized precision wreck. On low forward, still there. You don't think still that me and Criminal practice this hours on end? Still there, you're clear. Was it two cars what, uh, what song should I listen to while Delta watching that back? 2.586 in front. All right, we're in P8 now. Got a moosh, got a moosh. I think now in order that moves together. I don't know if they got together, but they were killer cool together. Yeah, yeah, this is a pretty chill group. Sid heads the field. I've only been, I've only raised, this is only my third, third week racing with these guys, but, uh, yeah, it's a pretty chill, chill group. Um... I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to race with them because at some point in July when uh, 
when Sidewinder Racing League uh, gets their uh, gets their their new Gen 4 series started up, I'll be racing with them on Wednesdays. Really trying to hype that one up because I really want to do good over there. I love those Gen 4 Cup cars. Cars pushing kind of. Some rear, rear brake bias in it. Wait, how do you know that? Wait, do you race over there? I don't know, Sid, but it looks like that being's just playing me. Oh, oh, I saw you in the chat the other day. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, wow. I am clearly not here. Yeah, yeah, I... Minus point eight. I put two and two together real, real quick. Um... Just, just on a delayed reaction. Oh, okay. I really hope the Gen Four comes back. Uh, what did, what did you say they might switch to if they, if they, if they run something else? been looking to run either Gen 4 or uh, 87s. Some of the only openings I, I, I have really are um, are uh, Wednesday and Saturdays. We have nine minutes remaining. That's how I found them actually is because I was searching for leagues that ran uh, Gen 4 on either Wednesdays or Saturdays and I, I found them and I was like oh shit this looks awesome. I watched some of their, I watched some of the broadcasts, like some of the previous broadcasts. And I was like, hell yeah, man, I need to get in on this. I, I like, I love those cars. Hey, uh, Poncho, in case you didn't know, we hang out in Discord voice channel during races if you want chatter. We'll Motherfucker. In there if you want. My nose itches. He's in here. He's just muted. Yeah, Woo! Yeah, I'm in there. I can hear you guys talking. I've, I've never used the chat before, so I wasn't really sure how to actually get myself into it. But yeah, I can hear you guys. Dude, I got like I got like a bead of sweat running down the side of my nose. Yeah, just be sure you spell it. Oh, fucking itches off. like a motherfucker, and I can't get it with the VR headset on. Mmm. Okay, we need to hurry up and finish this race. Ooh, I'll do that, I'll do that for next time. Way too hard on the throttle too early. Okay. Just chill. Can't get the right, can't get the power right, down. Right, Car's getting really really right. loose on exit. I need to yeah, I need to right, roll on the throttle a little easier. Back up, so I lift. Don't ever apologize to Greg. Yeah, 
Yeah, you'll spoil me. Get up here and try to draft with the Greg. Still 10 laps remaining. Hell yeah, Five thank you. Laps. Still there, still there, still there, still there. We're clear. I drove in way too hard there. Car low side rear, still there, still there, and clear. Okay, that was me driving balls to the wall, going for it. On high forward, still there, still there, still there, still there, still there, still there, still there. And they're both gonna drive by me. That was a huge mess up for me. Yep, I gotta go easier on the tires. getting crazy. We're driving these cars so hard right now. Tried lifting early and it didn't really do much. understand what they're saying though like the aero tight is so bad you can really aero block with these big time oh 45.57 on that lap high side front still there still there fuck still it don't there. lift still there we're clear Seconds remaining. Car 
outside front. Still there. 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 Clear. Woo! Car got a little loose. I just can't get the drive off the bottom of four. I'm I'm uh, I'm struggling so bad. I'm not gonna be able to make a pass down there. Which kind of really bums me out because I'd like to make a pass down there, but I just couldn't complete it. hates me so much right now but I'm I'm pushing anyways I don't care what the car wants I want this top five I'm in danger. all four of us here this is all for position right here me and the three cars in front of me Here we go. Great point, brother. Car inside front. You're clear. Inside front and clear. We lost spots over that. My We're down to finish, finish ninth. I way overcooked it in four. Thank you, Sid. Damn. What a fun you bunch of rickers. Catch. Uh, all oh, right. Well, time. that does it for that video. Uh, yeah, just, fun. Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, just so I can end the recording uh, um, when I get to the pistol uh, before uh, before I talk to you guys on the stream more. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I'm making my out. way back to the pit road right now, but I want to thank iRacing, Twitch, YouTube, Discord, um, Moza Racing, Thrustmaster, Pimax VR. Uh, all, all of these things is the reason why I can do this right now, as well as... Uh, Texas Speed Sim Racing, you can see their name on the visor seconds. on the visor of the helmet cam here. Uh, that's the team that I'm on. Thank you guys so much. I fucking love you guys. Um, thank you to LOL iRacing League. Uh, thank you to Triple Bypass Racing League. Both the leagues I was racing in tonight. Uh, fucking love all of you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for the support. And uh, last but not least, thank you to all my followers, all my viewers, all my subscribers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull into our pistol here, and then I'm going to go ahead and end this recording. But um, Take it easy. I fucking love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video, and I uh, hope to see you guys next time.